Okay. First things first. I would like to thank Vico Man for actually requesting this piece of crap. Moving on. It is Emoto's Saga Musha. Yes, that is pronounced Musha. Uh, this game, pretty much just imagine like Castlevania, except with except with controls that suck and absolutely all the fun sucked clean out of it. Here we go. Just say you are you are you are a character by the name of Emoto, and you are a pikeman. Which means that the only weapon you're ever, you're ever going to have is this pike, or as some people would just call it, a spear. Um, you really only have two attacks. As you can see, you can either stab, or you can do that like rotation, jumping forward here. Uh, if if you notice there, the enemies were respawning at a very you know at a very you know alarming fucking rate. Just picked up a power up there. Um, you will see uh, that happen a lot in this thing. Enemies here, re enemies here, oftentimes respawn as fast as they do in the game Doctor, in the game Doctor Chaos, and you can watch, and you can watch Armix review on that to sort of get what I'm, what I mean. Uh, oh yeah, and did you just hear that like jackass braying noise? Yeah, your fucking hero here will make, will make that noise every time that he gets hit. Oh yeah, right here is the worst case of, of creature respawning. Do you see that? Do you see that eyeball? Yeah, as soon and I, and I mean as soon as it's gone, another one will take its place. And you have to jump past it, which pretty much means that oh yeah, right there. I just you know I just you know attempted to jump. This thing has such horrible like controls that even us like jumping becomes a fucking chore. Now anyway, now back to these eyes. You have to now you have to get past them. Guaranteed, you are going to take at least one hit just getting past the eyeballs. And after going through all that mess, right here actually is the boss. This right here is like my fourth or fifth try against this boss. Pretty much, you just have to just sit there and stab him, and then jump before he breathes his f flaming, like, liquor uh, breath at you. Yeah. And this pretty much is how every single boss I have run into works, is you just have to just wait until they stop moving and then just start just stabbing the living shit out of them. And you actually, and you actually are able to pick up like power-ups and spells, but they're pretty much worthless. Example right there actually was one of my spells and it really didn't do shit. At least, you know, like visually, it didn't do a damn thing. Um... Otherwise, you actually are able to get, like, stronger armor and stronger pikes, supposedly. Yet, I have yet to see any actual difference. It pretty much is like picking up the cake in the Blues, you know, brothers. It does absolutely nothing. My god, this is fucking boring. And right there is another spell, and boom, now he is red, which means I can kill him off a little bit quicker now. But I still have to go through all of this pattern pattern shit because I'm almost dead. Mind you, I started this thing with full health. And no matter and no matter what happens, almost there we go. Little bastard's gone. Die, bitch. Monster defeated. No shit. I regain all my health. Pick up another scroll, which gives me gives me what? Learn a fire spell. Oh joy. Jumping on to a different level. I believe this one's level four. This one here is actually where the piss poor controls are gonna really shine. As you can see, the jumping in this thing is just fucking labored. Speaking of, right here is where some bad jump really works. See that? Now you fucking like jump. You have no idea exactly how far you are. You're, you're gonna go because it's random. You actually, you actually can hold it down, and he will either launch himself a little bit, or he'll just kind of like trickle, like trickle forward slightly. The game is that bad. The, and the monsters, well, it basically is just your typical like Japanese like game style of. Let's just basically throw the weirdest fucking shit possible at him, and see what happens. We have, like, thwomps here, kind of. Thwompish blocks. Uh, right here's all these weird spider women, ant women things. Yeah, this game, folks, uh, let me just, like, tell you this. Uh, if you happen to have a... If you happen to have a, you know, SNES and you want to actually try this thing, do this. Go and grab, like, Castlevania. I don't, and I don't even care which version, I don't care which system. It's better than this. Even those fucking, even fucking, like, Castlevania 60, 64, which most people say is a piece of shit, 
is a hell of a lot better than this piece of crap. And right there, I just missed a scroll, so I missed, I don't know what, health, a power-up, what, eh, well, I jumped, and it wouldn't even let me get on the fucking ledge. This game is just problems on top of problems, and I actually have heard a couple of people actually, you know, actually, actually, like, speak positively about, about this thing, and for the life of me, I don't know why. And I'm crushed. Damn. Jumping ahead to this level's boss. If you thought that the last one was a fucking pain, just look at this one. This one, if my if it will show, there we go. He doesn't he doesn't even attack yet. He just he just goes and like jumps around, and you have to sit there and just continue to stab him. And we're gonna be at this for a while, so let me just kind of sum up a couple of things here real quick. This game, uh, yeah. Control sucks. The music is the music is okay, even though in my opinion it, it is still a little bit mild. It is still mild, mildly annoying after a while. Control, my god. I could actually have programmed better. Fucking con. I could probably have controlled. I could probably have programmed. I'm sorry. I could. I could, I could have programmed better. Better controls. Blindfolded and just smashing my feet on the fucking on on, on the fucking keyboard whilst making a game. It would be a lot more responsive than, than, than this thing. And I'm still just stabbing away. And, you know, I honestly would happily, like, speed it up. There we go, and the shrapnel hurt. The shrapnel just hurt me. Whoopee. Now, I would happily speed up this, but I actually want everyone here to see exactly the type of shit that you have to go through to beat this thing. Gone, die already. And boom, and the shrapnel kills me, and then the real boss comes out. And aw, oh, I'm dead. But yet, the saddest is yet to come. After all that grief, all that suffering, all that misery, this is your game over screen. Sadly, Emoto-san is no more. Wow. There really is nothing sad about it outside of the music, which would play in the background, but I'm not going to bother with it this time around. Just, you know, like, just look at this screen. Sadly, no, there's nothing sad about, about this. The game sucked fucking monkey ass. So, in my opinion, the game over screen really should look a little more something like this. Perfect, yes. Thank God Emoto-san is no more. Now pop in something that doesn't suck. Truer words have never been spoken. Well, except maybe for these. Mutley, if you please.